seafood has become a big part of the American diet, and we're now importing a lot of what we eat from around the world. Hub's SeaWorld Research Institute, along with a private investment firm, are out to change that with a first-of-its-kind yellowtail aquaculture farm just off the San Diego coastline. Sean Stiles explains how and when this could open in this Earth 8 report. Over 85% of the seafood consumed in the United States is imported, but here at Hub SeaWorld Research Institute, they're looking to change that with aquaculture and developing a farming system with yellowtail fish. What we want to do is make sure that uh, we develop a model for how to do this for the country. This is the 30-footer uh, where we keep our uh, wild-caught Broodfish. Don Kent is the president of Hub SeaWorld Research Institute and is the science behind the first of its kind aquaculture in federal ocean waters. If we're growing California yellowtail here, they could be growing Amico Jack in the Gulf of Mexico. And we ought to keep the species in the ranges that they normally live in. Pacific Ocean Aquafarms is the business side of the partnership that's working with hubs. But before this can happen, they have to get permits from the Army Corps of Engineers and the EPA. And last week, a notice of intent was registered. That basically informed the public that NOAA, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, would be leading the re environmental review for those permits. This will allow time for those to raise questions or objections about the pens that will be located about four miles off the San Diego coastline. And so this is really a model for how it should be done for the entire country. Hubs has been developing the technology with Yellowtail since 2003. But it's time now to transfer it over from what we do in a laboratory to where it's really going to start feeding people and that's when it has to be done on a much larger scale. Permitting is expected to take 18 to 24 months. Then a year to uh, mobilize the farm, build the, the pens that are going out. That's projected to be 5,000 metric tons and by growing food closer to the locations where it's consumed that means a lower environmental cost. If we grow it four miles away instead of five or six or seven thousand miles away we're shortening that footprint, we're lowering the overall environmental cost to produce food. This is the brood stock, and when these fish spawn, they produce over 100,000 fertilized eggs, which is going to make this whole aquaculture sustainable and last into the future.